What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my new, well, refurbished Canon SL2 from eBay. So let's go right ahead and get into it. Currently I have the Canon SL2. Currently I have the Canon S. Currently I have the Canon T5 and I just wanted an upgrade. Like I just wanted something different, but I didn't want to spend too much money. So I got my Canon T5 back in 2016 and now we're in 2020. My Canon T5 still works good. It's perfect. It's fine. There's no problems. Like only thing, only problem that I do have is that it tends to stop recording at a certain minimum time. I don't know. So <laughs> I don't know why. I do that but whatever i was looking for different cameras to see which one that i feel would be in total upgrade to the one that i have not really to go too far in the thousands or anything like that just to keep it in a low range i decided to look up refurbished cameras because a lot of people were saying good things about it and i have a refurbished um laptop a, a macbook here with me so i was like i don't really feel too uncomfortable with getting something that is refurbished i feel like it's going to work i feel like it's no problems i just fade and with my macbook i just updated everything the system i put new this the, a new sata cable just everything in there is practically somewhat new you know this is the box here that let me okay this is the box here camera is in so i'm super duper worried because you know you do have to be careful anyways when you're getting refurbished stuff because you just never know uh for people out there who don't know what refurbished means is basically something that was possibly used or damaged and it was sent to the factory and they fixed it and then they just put it out for resale at a lower price basically i could be wrong it may not be what it means verbatim but in a way that's kind of what it means if you want to be tech i'm ready to get into it uh this is the canon sl2 i got it off of ebay it was refurbished i got it from ebay um i know that the canon website they have a specific section where they have their own uh refurbished cameras that they put out for resale but this one was more affordable for me at the moment no taxes no shipping no nothing it was just flat out whatever the price was so the person sent it out and i'm super duper ready to get into it i'm so ready i always record myself and sorry if i'm looking over here i'm watching to make sure it's still recording when i get something as important as this i always make sure that i record myself so that way if something is wrong i can show the video i can show proof so that way they can't lie and say that i'm just making up something or whatever so because maybe i did it or anything like that like no not at all so the box is still sealed i'm covering this part because my address is on it Ooh, and yeah, so the box is still sealed. Uh, so let's open it. I'm ready. All right, so this is it right here. It's wrapped up pretty good. Um, it didn't come with the, it's, it's pre-owned y'all. It's, so it's not gonna come with the original box. <laughs> so that is fine. Um, it's a good way to save money. So that's the good thing about it. You get to save money and you don't have to really spend too much. So I see that it has the bat. Okay, this has the battery and the charger, but I don't know if this is a Canon battery or charger because it doesn't really look like it. So uh, so this is the charger and the battery that came with it. Now I know now I know how important it is to make sure that you stay within the you know the company that you have. Like if you have an Apple phone, keep an Apple Watch. If you have a Canon camera, keep a Canon charger or battery, whatever. So I'm gonna use this for now but i am going to get the canon charger and a canon battery this is it it's not heavy it's pretty light so it looks okay uh so here i don't know if you guys see it it's like a little dents and scratches and everything and that's fine uh
My Canon T5, which I have it here in the front, but it's not what I'm recording with. My Canon T5 is kind of a uh, old camera. Like they don't even have the updated program for it. So it doesn't really work properly um, when I do it. But the good thing that I loved about this is that I have the viewfinder. So I can like flip it around. Um, I can sit my camera in front of me and watch me and make sure that it's still recording and everything like that. I get to see myself to make sure nothing going on in the background. And when I, all of a sudden start editing i'm seeing all this crazy stuff so this was really a plus for me i always wanted a camera with this type of viewfinder but couldn't afford it so i think this model came out in 2017 or 2018 if i'm not mistaken this is the sl2 i know they had an sl3 but when i looked at a lot of the reviews and the comparisons a lot of people preferred the sl2 they said it was better it had more qualities and more um good things about it than the sl3 so I say okay i'll do this one um so so there's no battery in it. I'm going to put this one in. Okay. Put the battery in. Okay, we got something on. This is the, like the viewfinder is also touch screen too. So I like that. Okay, so it's pretty much touch so it's pretty good i love that super duper do um i'm gonna put my lens i didn't buy it because this is just the body it only came with the body i didn't buy the lens yet because i wanted to make sure that this was working before i just went out and brought the actual lens that i wanted and then it doesn't work for this and then i end up having to, i mean this doesn't work and then i end up having to send it back and i just wanted to make sure that it works okay so i'm going to put my sim card in and i'm going to put the lens on here and i'm gonna record like a little video so you guys could get like a, a video test because i am one of those people that watch a hundred videos before I buy anything like I don't care what it is I'm watching video so this is my 1855 millimeter lens I hate this lens but <laughs> we're gonna use it for now so I'm gonna also put the sim card in to you guys all right so I'm about to put the sim card in I definitely have to do that to make sure it works so I have a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro Oh. All right, so this is it right here, you guys. It's on and it worked pretty good. Why? I noticed it gets dark. Super light, but it gets dark. Oh, okay, I got it, y'all. Wait. Let's... Oh, that's perfect. So this is it. I'm gonna record a video so you guys see it and um make up your own assumptions to it. All right, y'all, so this is the camera right here. It's recording. Um, I don't know how the sound is, so it's gonna be my first time hearing it. That's something that I have to listen to as well, but I do use an external microphone. Well, not necessarily an external, but I have my uh, camera right here. I mean, my microphone that I hook up to my computer and I use the recording from my voice and add it to the video and just edit it down and put it up for you guys so i don't know how the audio is going to be with this if it's good then i would use this for something else like i do asmr videos too so i'll use it for that battery is about to die let me see i took a picture and i'm not gonna upload that because i don't think that is yeah absolutely not <laughs> that is not being uploaded okay so i might to record some video footage for you guys to see it so make up your own assumptions of what you think about it but i do have to play with the settings the battery is about to die so i do have to play with the settings to get a better quality so i don't want to just upload anything so yeah make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe and follow my social media down below in the description box and click the bell to be notified when i upload and i will see you guys in the next video.